Good morning everyone, how are you today? Um, it's Jane here, it's Saturday morning here in Australia and I just thought I would come on and do a Currently Inked um, with you for March 2023. So I still have some pens left over that were inked from December last year where I inked up every single pen that I owned. Um, so that's a previous video if you want to go back and have a look at it. So I've still got four of those left over and then along the way just in the last couple of weeks I've been inking up some other pens as I go. So let's go through them with you. The first one is this Twisby Eco in Jade. It has a 1.1 stub nib um, and this is left over from December last year. So, Twisby Eco um, Jade 1.1 stub and it is inked with Van Diemen's, it's an Australian brand, Van Diemen's Ink, Van Diemen's Apple Island Green, it's a beautiful green. Quite a bright, vibrant green. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one we have in the lineup is the Twisby Eco Tea in Mint. It also has a stub nib and it's currently got a shimmer ink in it. So I'm just moving that around a little bit. I hasn't got that much of it left anymore. I've really enjoyed using this actually. So this is another Twisby Eco Tea in mint with a 1.1 stub nib and it is inked with Ferris Wheels Press um, Tumbling Time Blue What I've enjoyed about this combination too over the months is that it's even though it is a shimmer ink um, and a sheening ink um, it hasn't clogged the feed at all so every time I pick it up and write with it it still writes beautifully there's no stopping or starting issues no clogged feed it's it's worked really well the third one in a lineup is another Twisby um, this one hasn't got so much of it left anymore but it's been beautiful to write with beautiful ink this was actually a sample from a pen friend so this is a Twisby Eco in smoke rose gold it has a broad nib and it is inked with troublemaker Avalone and it's just a really pretty shading ink it's, it's kind of a blue gray ink but then you can see hints of lilac through it as well so it's really pretty this is the fourth one that I have inked up from December this is a Twisby swipe um, it's also been a wonderful pen to write with so not a whole lot left in this one anymore either so Twisby swipe in ice blue I believe it's called the color of this one um, with a broad nib and it's inked with Monteverde um, 2018 DC Super Show Blue 
you heard that just running down the stairs and some noise that's our water collie Otis he thinks he's part of the family he also thinks he's a lap dog at <laughs> times too he's huge you should see him he's very heavy he is anything but a lap dog but he thinks he is all right so this is another one that I inked up to try a sample that was sent to me by a pen friend um, it's a Twisby Go it has um, Van Diemen's ink parrotfish it's from their underwater series and it's such a pretty ink but there is I've hardly got any of it left because I've been doing quite a bit of letter writing so but I just love this ink it's so pretty I really really love it um, I think I've put it on my wish list to get a bottle actually so concentrate Jane um, Twisby go it's in the clear it's got a broad nib and it is inked with Van Diemen's Parrotfish. This is also um, a shimmer ink and it has a lot of shimmer but it's a really pretty blue it's like a teal sort of greeny blue but with a blue sort of silvery shimmer through it it's really pretty so the next one I've got inked up is another Twisby um, and this one is Twisby Vac so Twisby Vac oops 700 R um, Iris and it's got a medium nib and it is inked with um, now this was a Robert Oster and a Desk Bandit um, collaboration um, for their the Desk Bandit's fifth um, birthday anniversary and this one's called The Great Owl I like this ink too it has a lot of sort of shading qualities about it it's like a mauve grey colour it's it's really unusual but very very pretty um, I might as well do this other eco now so this is the Twisby uh, Eco Tea in Royal Jade and Rose Gold this came out just before Christmas last year it was a Christmas gift so this be Eco Tea Oil Jade and Rose Gold. It has a medium nib on it and it is inked with um, Organic Studios. Henry David Thoreau so the next one I've got is a Hong Dian in um, dark forest green with a fine nib this is actually another sample from a pen friend that I'm enjoying using. So, Hong Dian Dark Forest Green. It's got a fine nib. it's a really pretty pretty almost like a khaki green I guess you could say 
So the next one is my um, Visconti Rembrandt in um, White Pearl. It has a medium nib on it and I'm using another sample from a pen frame with this one and I'm really really loving it. Um, so Visconti Rembrandt uh, White Pearl in a medium nib and it is inked with Sailor Studio 931 it's a lovely ink that one it's a really sort of rich berry colour mm, next one is my Franklin Christoph uh, model 20 in the vintage green with another sample from um, a pen swap that I did so Franklin Christoph model 20 in the vintage green got a medium nib and it is inked with um, Waterman Green. Oh my gosh, I hope I can fit them all on the page. The next one is a fairly new pen that um, arrived this week from Amazon actually. It's um, I think it's probably a takeoff of another pen somehow somewhere but I really just liked the pretty material like the um, I think they call it rainbow celluloid I'm not sure if it really is celluloid but anyway they're calling it rainbow celluloid it has a medium nib the one in the picture on Amazon all this looked like it was more of a <coughs> sorry about my voice everyone it looked like it was more of a matte gold which I really liked more like the vinyl here but when it turned up this is all very sort of bright brassy sort of yellow gold I guess you could say anyway it writes well enough <clears throat> so this one is and I love this blue too it's another sample from a pen friend so this is uh, Jin Hao 100 rainbow celluloid anyway that's what they called it medium and it is inked I love this blue and it's got shading and oh it's just gorgeous um, this is Kobe number 26 and it's um, Watamasaki blue Just really beautiful. Love that. And last one we've got in the lineup is this um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And I've actually got an ink cartridge in this one. Uh, so. Sailor Pro Kia Slim. That's in the Dragon Palace. It has a medium fine nib and it's got a Sailor uh, Shikiori. Uh, Dokuwa Matsu um, and it's just a cartridge and the last one which I'm not sure if I'm going to fit it in is just this um, 
Pilot Decimo in uh, Champagne Pink. It's got a medium nib and I've just got a black cartridge in it. So I'm going to try and squeeze it on to the page. So Pilot Decimo. Um, Champagne Pink. With a medium nib and it's got a black cartridge cartridge I'm just going to squeeze it down here so I don't have to waste another page so they are the pens that I have got inked up for January um, as I said some of them are almost finished already that's okay um, but yeah as I said the top four are the ones I'm still writing dry from leftover from December and yeah so I'm really I, I guess it's very heavy on the blues and the greens this month um, I think next time if I write one of these dry and decide to ink up another pen I might actually put a a pink or a purple or something in the next one but um, yeah, really enjoying these to write with, and they're all very different, um, different price points as well as far as it like um, the cost of a pen. Um, but equally, I just enjoy writing with them all for different reasons. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world that you are safe, that you are having a good day or a good evening. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. Um, take some time for yourself to rest and uh, relax and rejuvenate and I will see you back here next time. Take care everyone. Bye